This is MSJ Chem. In this video, I'll be looking at the classification of organic compounds. So we'll start the video by looking at the classification of the alcohols. Here we can see the structures of three alcohols. On the left, we have propan-1-ol, and on the right, we have propan-2-ol. At the bottom of the screen, we have 2-methyl propan-2-ol. So next, we'll classify these alcohols as primary, secondary, or tertiary. So starting with propan-1-ol, we need to count the number of carbon atoms that are directly bonded to this carbon atom that is bonded to the hydroxyl group. As we can see, there is only one carbon atom directly bonded to the carbon atom that's bonded to the hydroxyl group. Therefore, propan-1-ol is a primary alcohol. Next, we look at propan-2-ol. So first, we need to count the number of carbon atoms that are directly bonded to this carbon atom that is bonded to the hydroxyl group. As we can see, there are two carbon atoms directly bonded to this carbon atom. Therefore, propan-2-ol is a secondary alcohol. Our last example is 2-methyl-propan-2-ol. As we can see, there are three carbon atoms that are directly bonded to the carbon atom that is bonded to the hydroxyl group. Therefore, 2-methyl-propan-2-ol is a tertiary alcohol. Next, we look at the classification of the halogenoalkanes. Here we have three examples of halogenoalkanes. On the left, we have one chloropropane. On the right, we have two chloropropane. And at the bottom, we have two chloro, two methylpropane. If we look at the structure of one chloropropane, we can see there is one carbon atom that is directly bonded to the carbon atom that is bonded to the halogen atom. Therefore, 1-chloropropane is a primary halogenoalkane. If we look at the structure of 2-chloropropane, we can see there are two carbon atoms that are directly bonded to the carbon atom that is bonded to the halogen atom. Therefore, 2-chloropropane is a secondary halogenoalkane. In our last example, we can see that there are three carbon atoms that are directly bonded to the carbon atom that is bonded to the halogen atom. This makes 2-chloro-2-methylpropane a tertiary halogenoalkane. To end the video, we look at the classification of amines. So here we have the structures of three amines. On the left, we have propanamine. On the right, we have N-methylpropanamine. And at the bottom, we have NN-dimethylpropanamine. To classify amines, we need to look at the number of carbon atoms that are directly bonded to the nitrogen of the amine group. In propanamine, we can see there is one carbon atom directly bonded to this nitrogen. Therefore, propanamine is a primary amine. If we look at the structure of N-methylpropanamine, we can see there are two carbon atoms directly bonded to this nitrogen atom. Therefore, N-methylpropanamine is a secondary amine. And if we look at our last example, we can see there are three carbon atoms directly bonded to this nitrogen atom. Therefore, NN-dimethylpropanamine is a tertiary amine. 